Yeah, I did this, this show called The Sunday in the Park with George, which is about uh, George Seurat, the painter. And uh, it's a Stephen Sondheim musical, and it was probably one of the most incredible experiences of my life, being up there. Have you sung on, on stage or in doing anything since you did that? Not since I did that, uh -huh. but I did a Little Shop of Horrors, a little uh, like concert of Little Shop of Horrors in New York before uh -huh. that, so sang before that. And is it scarier for you to sing on stage than act because you don't do it as much? No. Really? Yeah. You're not like scared of, of, of singing on stage? No, it's like you have an entire orchestra with you. You're not alone. Yeah. So there's no reason to be scared. I want to hear you sing sometime. I want you to, do you play an instrument? Sort of. What do you play? Uh, uh, the guitar, kind of. Mm -hmm. Next yeah. time you're here, bring the guitar and sing to me. Done. Okay, good. I really, Done. I want you to. Okay. Okay, good. Um, let's talk about Stronger. It's so good, um, and it's a true story. Uh, tell, and you, you produced it, and you star in it, and uh, if people don't know the story, it's a, it's a true story, and tell everyone what it's about. Yeah, it's a true story about a guy named Jeff Bowman, who lost both of his legs in the Boston Marathon bombings, and uh, through uh, an amazing community and incredible relationships, he, uh, he got through it, and uh, that's, that's the story. And he actually identified the bomber. Yes, he did, in the process of it, yes. And he is in the audience and with us today. And he is in the audience, too. I know, it's like... It's a little weird explaining the movie with him. Well, yeah, you know, but yeah. yeah, it's it's Jeffy. Yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic, and and he is. Uh, I mean, the the story is interesting because it really does show that Jeff was just a regular guy. This happens to him, and it, I, I see the struggle and what you had to go through and, and the physical therapy, and it just, whatever day you're having, you're just like, oh my God, this is this what, what you had to go through. Um, you, you are a hilarious guy. I mean, you're funny in the movie, so you can tell that you had a sense of humor, but I had no idea how funny you were until I saw this interview on, on Facebook. We're gonna show just a little bit of it, but it's, he, he's hilarious. You ever thought about doing a good movie? Like Fast and the Furious, because they can like drive tanks and shoot and drive fast cars. I mean, you shot yourself in one of your movies. Yeah, you I fell on your own gun. What was that movie? You fell on your own gun? Nocturnal Animals. Nocturnal. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Who <laughs> <laughs> gun and shot yourself? I didn't write it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> what? You didn't, you didn't bleep out that word. No. Yeah. We will later. Yeah. yeah. We will later. But it's really funny. And were you, I know you didn't want him to play you in the movie, but, no. um, <laughs> but, but were you a fan of his work? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he, he's excellent. Yeah, he he's amazing. You're, really, you're awesome, too. Yeah. Oh, thanks very much. I, I couldn't have played you, but. Um, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize you were this funny, though. Yeah. I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> thanks, thanks. I'm glad this worked out that you could be here. Um, <laughs> I was like 20th on the list, you were like 11th. So wow. you were busy. Yeah, if so. I didn't have this show, I could have played you.